this presentation let us now talk about what is called venix caseosa in the amniotic fluid or during pregnancy what is venix caseosa when the mother is pregnant the skin of the fetus can actually peel off and when it peels off it collects in the amniotic fluid so it can actually present as a echogenic particles in the amniotic fluid this is what we call venix caseosa so venix caseosa can actually be mistaken or there is a different child to venix caseosa that we call meconium contamination so when the fetus uh, actually passes feces inside the maternal womb that we call meconium contamination so what you're seeing here uh, is the amniotic fluid and you can see here what we have this is a collection of debris in the amniotic sac so this is what is consistent with what i am referring to as venix caseosa so this is skin that is peeling from the fetus so when venix caseosa collects in the amniotic fluid the fetus can actually swallow the venix caseosa and it can actually block or lodge inside the fetal stomach so in this case however i didn't see a collection of this venix caseosa in the fetal stomach so on the Caladopla interrogation, you can actually see uh, there was no flow of blood in the venix caseosa as you can appreciate from this image. So you can see here, uh, there is only extra uh, amniotic uh, flow here that you are seeing and then we don't have a flow in the amniotic sac as you can appreciate so from this end you can appreciate the 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 venix caseosa the amniotic fluid at the same time you can see the fetal portion so that's the fetus uh, so you can see this it's not a tumor uh it's actually debris that is in keeping with what is called venix caseosa which is skin peeling from the fetus and again you can actually appreciate here the venix caseosa is actually floating uh, in the ascites it's not a mass you can see it's moving in the amniotic fluid you can see it's moving uh, it's moving it's moving so this is actually uh, separate particles which are actually collecting in the amniotic fluid consistent with what i am referring to as venix caseosa that is got a nice differential of what we call meconium contamination i thank you all for your time i also thank you for your patience thank you so much for supporting our channel uh, my name once again is mr el chitumba i hope you appreciating what you are doing free education i also urge you to subscribe for more we are loaded with cases we'll keep you posted thank you so much